An incredible cliffside save in San Mateo County after a van ran off Highway 1 and slammed into the pounding surf below. That van was crushed. The driver somehow survived, hauled back to safety by some brave rescuers with ropes. It happened just south of Devil's Slide along a stretch of road where other drivers haven't been so lucky. KPI X5's Wilson Walker is there now and tells us the latest crash is renewing calls for a better barrier. Wilson? Yeah, Alan, I've been looking at that video all day and I still can't wrap my head around how this gentleman effectively walked away from that crash. And as you mentioned, he is now the third driver to go over this part of the highway here, and he is the only one to have survived. He went all the way down to the beach. My God, that's amazing. I wonder if they survived. Survived and was able to stand on his own two feet and pat his rescuers on the back when he was finally hoisted back up to Highway 1 after plunging 150 feet to the Pacific below. He claimed to not have uh, any traumatic uh, injuries. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? Not kidding. Wow. Now, to say this man was lucky would be an understatement, as the fall from this highway does claim lives, most recently in May of last year. He's a 22-year-old kid. He should have hit those guardrails and bounced back. Only Richard Moss didn't bounce back onto Highway 1. His car, last seen by a Devil Slide security camera, plunged off the cliff at the north end of Montera Beach, the same spot where Rose de Alba died in a similar accident in September 2016. We uh, reevaluated it in light of the latest accident out there and decided that it is an appropriate place to put in some guardrails. But those cement barricades installed four months after Moss's death only cover a short stretch of this highway and obviously not the spot where the van went over the cliff today. So is it time for something more substantial than these patchwork barriers? We've concluded that we should put up a barrier for about a two mile length along Devil Slide and we're trying to upgrade the guardrail or, or make improvements as we can without disturbing the character of the area. Now, I went back and took a closer look at what Caltrans said after the last two deaths, and they, they were clear to say that this is a spot that they're looking at, and they would like to do some more expansive protection of that cliffside. is something they just have to figure out kind of how to make it work, and you have to wonder if today's accident doesn't speed that process up uh, even faster. We are live on Highway 1. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.